what's interesting about the game is that to me it appeals both to JRPG sensibilities as well as uh, Korean MMO sensibilities because uh, a, lot, a lot of people from Malaysia obviously played stuff like Ragnarok Online and, and a lot of Korean MMOs and it also harkens back to my days uh, working at eGames on O2Jam and seeing all the other uh, games they were publishing so uh, and I played Maple Story a lot <laughs> I have to admit, I wasn't a huge Ragnarok fan, but for some reason, Maple Story got me as like played it for years. In a nutshell, and this is not directly related to the inspiration per se for this one game, but more of a meta sense where uh, Ragnarok Online in many ways set the bar for Korean game music. Before that, a lot of Korean games were just known as like grindy MMOs. Ragnarok comes out and now Korean games are known as grindy MMOs with good music and every single game is compared to that, you know. So I wanted to have that for Malaysia, not to like blow my own horn, but we have gone above and beyond and trying to create something that is both nostalgic for people who have played a lot of JRPGs and Korean MMOs, but also striking out in our own direction. Interestingly enough, the... The experiences with Spark versus Sonic fan games was very, very informative in like trying to thread that needle. Game director DC, he's a huge video game music fan as well, so he's one of my kakis. <laughs> and so we would we, we talk a lot about what we like, what we don't like, what we think uh, might bring this uh, something new to this this whole thing. And uh, he was very, very much interested in exploring live recording to begin with. So, uh, the game is divided into acts, or biomes, and uh, at the end of a first uh, biome, the, the final dungeon in the first biome uh, is a track that uh, it sets the mood for it. And one thing special about it is, uh, after I composed it, I got my good friend Kevin Penkin, a uh, composer for Maiden Abyss, uh, uh, Rising of Shield Hero, Florence. Uh, so I actually mixed a lot of his stuff and I said, hey, uh, do you want to help me out with this? I said, actually didn't ask the one, can you help me out with this because I'm overloaded? I said, sure. So I, I gave him that track to arrange and he did an incredible arrangement for that. And it's all live recorded. So I think that track is uh, pretty special to me. Because uh, all this time, again, when it goes back to this, my, my whole journey of like, I want to do video games, I want to compose for video games, but I ended up mixing for a lot of stuff. And I ended up mixing for Kevin's stuff as well. And the fact that he's uh, working on one of my tracks is, I don't know, it's, it's, it's validation in a way. <laughs> and yeah, Kevin is a really, really cool guy. So I'm really, really glad that, uh, that, that uh, with his contribution to this. <laughs> 